Hello guys and welcome to another how-to video. So this is a follow-up to the video I did a while back on how to uh, do manual logging without pulling your hair out. And uh, this video is basically uh, super simple logging uh, with uh, guaranteed to not use a chainsaw or a fork um, or log forks or loader arms. So let's see what's all involved. So step one, we got ourselves a wheel loader or you could use a skid steer. Step two, get yourself this new um, stump grinder from Black Sheep Modding. It's in the in-game mod hub. Uh, this is obviously an in-game wheel loader. Step three, get yourself the Pottinger Auto Loader over at uh, PCSG. There will be a link in the description. And step three, get your favorite tipper. Any tipper will do. I just happen to have the, the Penta DB50 here because it holds uh, 50,000 liters and uh, is a nice size. And then, of course, we've got just the in-game case Optum tractor to uh, to basically run the uh, Pottinger autoloader and the tipper. So, what do we do? How do we do this? And how do we not use a chainsaw or wheel loader arms? Well, the first thing we want to do, uh, we also need the Sawdust mod, which is also in the in-game mod hub. A link to all of these mods will be in the description. So, let's see what we have to do. First off... We want to uh, go and look at our F1 menu, and we want to see Change Sawdust Dirt Level. Uh, that is key Z. We want to change that to 3, uh, which is the maximum level of sawdust. Now we want to basically turn on our wood chipper, and we want to lower it down. And let's uh, go ahead and pull on up to this tree here. And we're just going to pull on up to it. And just start chipping away. So you can see with the sawdust mod, we're getting a pile of sawdust already. And we're just going to keep on grinding away here. It's important that we have the wood chipper low. If we have it too high, the entire tree will disappear. Uh, but we, if we have it low here, we're going to get a fair number of wood chips out of this thing. Alright, and we're still grinding away the, uh, the stump. Then we just want to move up here. Let's make sure we got it all okay now there you go now let's go ahead and get another one done now you probably are going to get more wood chips out of this if you cut the tree down and you basically ran it through a chipper but to be quite honest with you that is a complete pain in the tail when you got to cut it down you either got to cut it up into little hunks and load it manually or you've got to uh, use wheel loaders or the uh, the Scorpion King and you could basically buy the Scorpion King and I guess cut it in little little couple meter lengths and uh, have it drop on the conveyor but uh, that's a fair bit of effort and a fair bit of using um, you know the keyboard or the uh, the mouse in order to manipulate the Scorpion King and all of that jazz. This is fairly simple. It's fairly easy to use the wheel loader. All we're doing is obviously tilting it back and forth a little bit. We're not uh, manipulating it a huge amount. And it's also fairly quick. So if you need to uh, tear up some trees, this is a great method. Don't want to go too high. I'm going to grind away. There we go. We managed to accidentally cut the entire tree, but like I said, you don't want to go too terrible high or you're going to end up cutting too much of the tree. And then sometimes you get the glorious tree that is the wood chip provider. Uh, so we have what appears to be an endless supply of wood chips here, which is absolutely stellar. Again, we're doing this for speed and ease. We're not doing this for actual um, best results. But uh, it is a way to clear out a large area very, very easily. Uh, if you want to cut some trees down, but you really don't want to deal with one, the chainsaw, two, the scorpion king, three, um, log forks. 
that can definitely be a big barrier into logging using log forks um, so we're just sitting here and we're just grinding away the thing will eventually decide that the stump is uh, is gone move it a little bit and that might help it's just the endless supply of wood chips It's still coming. Go ahead and uh, well, we might as well just let it sit here, right? Well, that thing's producing wood chips. Basically done. No, oh, it's still out putting wood chips. Well, anyway, you get the point, right? Let's back this up here. Now, let's go over here. And this is where it's... How do we get the wood chips up off the ground? Well, we use this auto loader. No more bucket, no more arms. No more trying to tip it into a tipper. Basically, what we've done to this point is I have piped out. So when you buy the auto loader, uh, let's switch back to the auto loader. When you get the auto loader, it is in this position right here. That's how you get it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to do a pipe out. Now the auto loader here, it is not your standard like forage harvester chute. It does not auto aim. You need to aim it yourself. So we hit X to get a nice little targeting laser. Kapow there, look at that. We shift click and left and right on the left and right on the mouse. We move it left and right. Up and down on the mouse to adjust the the shoot there, up and down. Now let's turn it on. Let's lower it. Let's get her aimed into our tipper and let's ease on in. And we're basically, now it's picking up pretty much like a conveyor would pick up. All right. That tree only gave us 3,000 wood chips. So, you know, it is definitely not the way of, of getting massive amounts of wood chips unless you get the, the tree that giveth forth, like this one. And we just sit here and let it load. Periodically scoot forward a little bit to uh, to keep it within range. Sometimes you might have to aim the uh, the shoot a little bit. Pick up these. Fairly easily, we have gotten 20,000 liters or so of wood chips, and all we've had to do is uh, just move the mouse just a little bit. Pretty awesome, I think. If you want to, uh, if you need some wood chips, but you don't want to feel like dealing with all kinds of uh, hassle, here we go. Now we've got ourselves 19,500 liters. In uh, less than 10 minutes of actual effort, didn't use a chainsaw one minute, didn't use loading arms, didn't use a bale or a log fork, and we run into the tree. For some reason, we try to use keyboard steering, even though we have a wheel. But, at any rate, I wanted to show you all that, and that's a little a, uh, a little hint on trick on how to use that uh, awesome wood chipper. Uh, 
stump grinder slash uh, plow from Black Sheep Modding. The awesome Pottinger autoloader that gets so little uh, little interest. Um, so a few little people know about that. And uh, just your favorite tipper. There you go. It is that simple to uh, wood chip logging. Here's a couple piles I did just doing some tests earlier. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please consider clicking that big old like button. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please uh, think about hitting the subscribe button for more how-to videos. Uh, more, uh, we do uh, map videos every Tuesday and Thursday, and we uh, do some Let's Play videos, typically on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I encourage you to check out the guys in my description below, as well as check out PCSG. That is where the Pottinger Autoloader is as are many other great awesome mods uh, PCSG also has the distinction of being the only authorized source for Stevie mods that would include all of Stevie's maps and various other mods that he has uh, put out recently and it's also a great farm sim and other sim community so if you're into farm sim go check it out uh, they also have a public open multiplayer server uh, that is open to anyone and everyone. Um, so if you want to go and uh, participate in a multiplayer environment, in a uh, safe multiplayer environment where you're not going to be hassled with uh, immature or juvenile type behavior, then uh, I encourage you to go check out PCSG. So until next time, guys, happy farming.